Welcome back to Two Girls Glass. We are now going to put enamel in the etched glass that we finished in the sandblaster. We're going to be using the Two Girls Glass enamel kit. It comes with seven colors and seven empty mixing cups, a brush, and the liquid. Okay, Denise. Now Denise is showing that this is recycled powder from the last layer. All of the enamel gets recycled, so there's no waste. So she's going to take this recycled enamel, add some of our water-friendly medium, and get it mixed up. You're gonna want this about uh, the, the uh, thickness of a tempera, which is, you know, kind of a little bit more solid than watercolor but not too goopy because if you get it too goopy or too thick it's going to dry faster than you can work okay that looks pretty good this is pretty simple she's just going to take the enamel and dab it into the areas that have been etched you don't have to be neat at all at this stage. In fact, if you're just a little bit sloppy, it comes out better. Now she's going to put quite a bit of the dark color on and then she's going to step over and add a lighter color just so she has a little variegation. Now she's going to want to use both of these colors wet because once they dry and you try to add a color, they tend to lift. So you're going to want to try to keep working so it's wet. Now she's going to take another color. Just a bit lighter. We've already mixed this one. And just dab some here and there. Making sure she covers all the trees. And you can see it's already mixing a little bit as she puts the paint on. Okay, that's looking good. Now she's going to take a hair dryer and dry it. As you can see, it dries pretty quickly, especially with the hair dryer. You're not going to want to scrape this while it's wet. probably good enough. Now she's going to take a fresh razor blade. It's important to have a nice crisp blade and to follow the lines of the trees. If she goes across this glass, she's going to put divots in it and it's going to scrape out. So she's going to be careful to just scrape up the trees. Now you can already see that she's getting some really nice variegation in the color. Now the bottom area, because it's wide, tends to get scraped into a little bit, but that looks good. Once it's fired, it gives it a little bit more of a painterly effect. So don't be too concerned if you scrape out some of the paint or enamel 
from different areas. It's just going to add to the interest. Okay, now she's going to set that aside briefly. And show us how she can recycle this enamel. Look at that. It's amazing how much she's gotten back. Okay, now she's going to clean that up a little bit more, but before, she's going to show you what the three of them look like stacked together. That's the front one. And then on that layer, and then on the lightest layer, and then put it, that's it, put it on the as you can see, now she's going to end up with a beautifully defined deep project. And the lighter colors in the back make it look like there's quite a bit of depth. 